Hello everybody and welcome back to Bloodborne. In the last episode we went through the asylum and killed a couple bosses and then it all went downhill pretty quickly. Uh, this episode I think we are going to try and finish the Hamlet. See? See. Well, is yes, Hamlet. What is a Hamlet? A Hamlet. Pretty sure it's just like a, like a village. I don't think there's really much more to that. Also, your, your you armor's can, gonna rust here. You can hear the bell. I don't. You could hear it for a second. Oh. I'm like, are you crazy? I may be going crazy. I thought I could hear it. Oh, there it is. That's the sinister bell. Is that what that is? Mm -hmm. I know you've never used it, so... Yep. Hey, it's you. It's me. Is this the uh, beast hide hunter? Or is that what it was called? Yeah. Oh, shit. What? He drinks? What did he drink? A uh, lead elixir. I'm sorry. Lead elixir makes it so that you don't get staggered. He's wearing a hide skin top and then trousers. Yeah. That's the fashion. Would you not wear that? No. Killed the crap out of him. All right. What's inside? More bells. I don't want to fight you here for that reason. Tick. I like how we fell and my character was just like, you know what? I'm going to get this kill if it kills me. Remind me of that scene out of uh, the other guys. Aim for the bushes. <laughs> the one with uh, Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg where they're like cops. For someone who doesn't watch movies. I know a lot about movies, yeah. I also was, worked in a movie store for almost I mean, that, a, that's true. Almost I always a decade. forget that. And people are always like, well, the librarian doesn't know. You're I gotta fight, fight you again? again? Crap, I say. Nice. I thought when you killed a... I guess you're being baited. He's not there as a stagnant hunter. Yeah. F you. Oh! Ow! So I get smited? What the hell, game? No, and a lot of people, I've heard someone, someone told me before, you know, oh, you know, librarians work in a library, but they don't know any, they don't know about every book. And it's like, yeah, but I like to be good at my job, and no offense to people that don't, but I would research the, like, movies and stuff, so I would know at least enough about if, most movies. If they're movies. like, hey, I'm looking for the movie about yeah. the dog finding the cat, and you'd be... I don't know what movie that is. I'm just pulling that out of my ass. Yeah, um, but like I could tell you little bits and pieces about every movie because I'd be like, oh, I could recommend this or I could recommend that. It was just being first in my job is all it was. You know, I don't, as, as a rule of thumb, not even as a rule of thumb, just in general, I just don't enjoy movies that much. I have the ones, I like the other guys because it's stupid funny. Um, I do like some Clint Eastwood movies. I like... Uh, oh yeah, you were telling me... Um, on our Borderlands 3 playing the other day that you liked westerns. On westerns, yeah. I told you that on your stream. Go subscribe over there. Twitch.tv slash Dakota underscore K. Because Dakota K was already taken for some reason. Was it? Yep. Because I think I linked it in the chat the other day as Dakota K and I was like, what is this that comes up? Yeah, Dakota K without the underscore was already taken. So but I'm... it's not even used. Like, they're not using it actively. They, It's like they copyrighted it before you could get to it. Also, out of stamina. That's kind of, like, what happened with my tag. As I happened to start using it, and but as things have gotten... So there's, like, a couple football players out there that are Dakota K and things like that. Well, I say a couple. I think there's two. Yeah. Um, well, I know there's a wrestler, uh, Dakota Kai. Yeah, but that's not... And so when you look up Dakota K, she pops up. Um, Which I'm sure just makes you all the sad. It, well, at the same time, though, 
Like, I used to Google Dakota K to see, and I used to be the entire front Google page. Yeah. Now I'm not, and I'm kind of okay with that. I don't want someone to find my entire 20 years on the internet in one quick search. Yeah. <laughs> Make them work for it. It's unique, but at the same time, though, I do understand yeah. that. But yeah, because at first, you know, as a youngling on the internet, I was like, this is awesome. I'm the first page of this Google result. And then as time progressed, I was like, oh, no, the last I'm, 20 yeah. years of my life is on the front page of this Google search. I mean, that's why I don't. As of this recording, I have no social medias or anything. This is as public as I get right here. So. Yeah, no, I have like, oh, hi. No, there was, like, some websites that I was on, um, that turned into, like, they got bought out or something, and they turned into dating sites, and so, of course, that's <laughs> why I'm not on them anymore, but it's just like, oh, no. So now it looks like I'm on all these dating sites, and I'm like, no. <laughs> it was supposed to be, like, I think it was, like, my yearbook or something like that. Mm. And it changed, like, owners a couple times, and I think now it's Meet Me. And I'm like, No. I don't want to be on a dating site. I just wanted to stalk my old classmates and see how terrible their lives are so and boost myself up every once in a while. Now As... I can't do that. Yeah. Now that's, why, that's why I kind of got off Facebook. Because it was like, I got on there to keep tabs on everybody and see how everyone was doing. And I was like, man, I don't know any of these people. I don't talk to any of these people. I don't even like half of these people. Like, what am I doing? That's a hole. Oh, we'll go very down deep. the hole. No, my Facebook is just family or people I talk... Like, there's a lot of people from work who keep trying to add me, and I just keep declining. Yeah. Because when I work at a company of... I think our local firm is, like, 300, 200 people. And that's the same thing when I worked at Lowe's Hardware. It's a, it's a building of, like, 200 people. So I'd have, like, 200 people trying to add me, and, like, I don't even like most of you. Let alone talk to most of you that's, or yeah, anything. Yeah, that's kind of how... It's like, I don't like you people. <laughs> but, you know, you'd see, you would see everybody and everything's so superficial now. And then, right. You know. And of course, because I was working, when I was working at that place with you, I had three jobs at that time. So I had people from all three jobs trying to add me on Facebook. I'm like, no, I don't have the social energy to keep up with any of this. And look, look, look at, look at, years later, I made the cut. I'm still here. I don't know why. I'm still here. For you. I know why I'm here. I bring you Chinese food. You do. You bring me Chinese food. Uh, you play video games and tell me lore things. <laughs> the second you're done with the lore, you're out. You're out. No, no, no. Cause you're, it, was that guy swimming? Yeah. So that would look like Olympic swimming type stuff. Oh, I did it too early. Oh, it's still counting. Yay, iframes. Oh no! Ooh. Ooh. Like the little piranha bites is what gets me. The little piranha bites. Yeah, no. Bites. No. <laughs> no. Damn it. Well, I thought I got I thought I got the parry on it, but You did not. Yeah, it's, it's the same timing as the first one. But yeah, no, like Especially when it came to, like, some people at the place that you worked at. Like, there's people who were, like, I'm sure just trying to add me for the goss. Yeah, everybody... Well, that place there, too, was... Of, of course, I was, like, the only dude that worked there, so... Yeah, that was a fact. There, no, the other guy, there was this guy named Joe, who looked like he was a hippie, but he was also married and did not... He was probably really, just like you, there for the paycheck. Joe was not married. I thought he was married. No. Joe was Joe. Joe, <laughs> there you go. Joe was Joe. Joe was Joe. I thought he was married. My bad. Nope. Hey, that person, the Olympic swimmer, has your echoes. It's alright. I'll F this up again. And lose all my echoes. I might live! I lived! You're at 40 plus now. Congratulations. Because I know my tick counter is a little off because I've missed a couple. So.
So how do you feel? <laughs> uh, I think I'm just going to go fight the boss. It's going to be much more enjoyable than dying to the freaking brain trust over and over again. The brain trust? Uh. Hey, the girl, you look so cute in the window. Now that you're not yowling. I gave my cats catnip because they were being really stupid last re time we recorded. Yeah. Screaming in the distance. I needed to give them some, like, chill down time. Chill out, dog. And now they're chilled out. That's good. Some great ones, wisdom. Why? Makes me feel better. Jesus. You kick. And it's steamy too. It's exactly how I feel after like a drunken night at Taco Bell. I this is how I wake I'm up in leaving. the morning. I'm leaving. That's disgusting. <laughs> Crawling out from under the blankets, just look oh, oh. oh if I'm drunk, I don't use blankets. I get too hot. That is certainly a thing. Are you staring at my child? I am. Are you guys staring at each other? Yep. Alright. I'm pretty sure she's just zoned out right now. You're the one who drugged him before this. That's true. But they're not screaming for attention and food. I wonder how many people approach this fight. They're like, oh, he's so slow. It's going to be so calm and docile. And then this happens. I was just thinking that. I'm going to have to turn down the volume on this so much. It's so loud. The screeching? The screeching. And all the sloshy noises. That's what I have to do on oh, some of the fights. Oh, really? On some of the fights, I have to turn it way down. Not a good open to this fight. I mean... I saw you fight him with a gigantic hammer, and this is, I think, my second time actually watching you fight. I always jump into that. There's so much screaming. <laughs> ah! He has an umbilical cord. Well, I'm gonna assume that's what the one I'm seeing. When you parry, try to parry so early that you have time to dodge after. That was a nice dodge. So going that quickly and then just slowly walking to you is probably the most terrifying thing ever. Oh, he did not like you poking him in the ribs. Okay. Now, I'm not trying to break your concentration, but isn't he supposed to be one of the more difficult fights? He is. Okay. And it's just... 
how hectic the second phase is. It really depends on how good of a... Oh, it's the second phase that does it? Okay. Yeah, his second phase is just all over the place. He is very leapy. It's just because he's so... he's just hyper-aggressive. Could you imagine him as, like, a defiled boss? He'd be miserable. <laughs> But that would be interesting if they did that. That way you can fight him over and over again. Whoop. I'm just like intrigued by his movements. It's really... Weird. He's so animalistic. Yeah. That was a nice dodge too. Whoa! And that's why he's tough, because all it takes is just one. Nice. One and done. The cause parasites the tentacle one? Yeah, is... yeah. Of course, if I equip it, it's literally just going to be a squid that you just bash people in the head with, but... Is it, like, actually? I don't know. Yeah, I can't equip it. Yeah! No, it's literally just a squid that you just whack people in the head with. It does nothing. You have to have a rune to make it functional. Oh, no, the cause parasite is the, um... The, the one where you have the tentacles wrapped around you, right? That is the... That's the... Um, the Luminwood, Luminwood rune. Right. And that's the one that turns you into a broccoli man. And okay. then the cause parasite's the weapon. If you don't have the, the rune equipped, it's literally just a squid in your hand that you bash people over the head with. Sweet child. Okay, It's then. useless. Okay, then. <laughs> but if you have the, the rune on, then it it allows you to actually do stuff with it. So. Interesting. Let's see. Accepting of all that there is. And that's the DLC. <laughs> uh, since we finished that so quickly... That was a 15-minute fight. You should go do... Well, there's one more boss in the DLC we can do. Oh, okay. Uh, it took me a second to... Yeah, you should uh, go take care of that. There is one boss fight we missed in the main game. It's the guy in the church, right? Guy in the church for the DLC, and then we also missed uh, Abritus. Abritus. Oh, the, the Cosmos Squid. Cosmos Squid. Also, everything's on fire. Spoiler alerts. I don't think you guys have seen that yet. No, but. I think you've... <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think you've actually been here while it's on fire. Nightmare Church... So let's go take care of this boss. Yeah, I don't think we're going to go do Upper Cathedral Ward. We're just right here at the end of the game. I don't think I can stretch that into two well, episodes. Well, I was going to say, there's also, um, I don't, it looks like the Nightmare. It's a place that you... Oh, the Frontier? Yeah, fuck that place. <laughs> <laughs> like, you could do that too. Yeah, uh, we missed Upper Cathedral Ward. We missed the Nightmare Frontier. Nightmare Frontier was by design. I have no intention of going and doing anything there. So is the Nightmare Frontier... Is this resembled after that, or is it resembling after this? this is nightmare. I think it's all its all Nightmare area. The front... I mean, Nightmare Frontier obviously isn't in this plane of existence. Right. Waiting for him to swing. 
Hey, there is a second one. Whoop. When in doubt, just speed roll into their crotch. It works every time. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. It did there. I mean, it did there. Obviously, oh, he's over there killing all the little beast. So you got stuff. He looks so just like dramatic. He's like, ah, oh, I'm here again. Uh, did I not pick up the thing I need for this? Don't you get it from a uh, horse, dude? Apparently didn't pick up the thing I needed to do this. Well, I guess we're not fighting that guy. But go, go get the thing! I don't remember where it's at. <laughs> I, was, I thought it was um, uh, Ludwig. I no. He's the one that drops it. I thought it was the eye pendant you get out of the... Oh, you know what? I know where it's at. Go get it. Drop stuff. Uh, gotta go back. Maybe you can do your editing magic and make it look like this didn't take any time at all. Uh, mayhaps. I don't know. That sounds like effort that you were just not willing to put in. Ah, uh, the effort. The burbs. Besides, I'm curious of where that is. Because I know we've, me and you have done this place, but you always hold my hand because I'm retarded. Mm-hmm. So I'm never sure where, like, anything actually is. So it's kind of interesting for you to go back and to show me where it is. So on the DLC, what's your favorite DLC weapon? I, not usage-wise, since you use, like, the yeah, starting like saw spear and nothing else. Um. But, like, look-wise. The, the concept of the amygdala arm <laughs> is, uh, is interesting. Just beating someone with, with a, a literal with a, like alien arm. Yeah, alien no, arm. that's uh, that's definitely interesting. I gotta, I gotta, that's but a mention. It's a, it's a club and a scythe. I mean, I guess if you look at it, if you squint at it with that coke nail, maybe that coke nail could be considered a scythe. No, it's the just second a coke nail to me. The, the second form. No, I know scythe form. Yeah. Oh, I know. I know what it's supposed to be. It's it's still part of an arm, meaning that's part of a fingernail, meaning that's a coke nail. You've seen when you hold, if you smash, and then you hold R2, and don't let go of yeah, the smash. Yeah, it just swiggles everywhere. It, like, moves on its own. Yeah, it's so gross. Oh, I remember this weird little puzzle. Just jump. Well, it's right here. So if you go all the way down to the bottom, you have the, uh, the church cannon also. Which is like the normal cannon, but it does less damage. But I believe it fires in a straight line, so it's easier to hit. Oh. So that's kind of your, um, that's the trade-off. Easier to hit, but fires in a straight line. Hey, the bell guy's there. Also, these guys were murdered. Nice. What's up, Simone? Is that Simone? I thought Simon. Not Simon. Oh. It's Brador. I was like, I thought, I thought he died. I thought this guy killed him. Yeah. Is that what the, that's supposed to indicate? Is that he was in a PvP battle and lost? Yeah, he invaded him. That's why he, the bell told for that guy. That's why we couldn't hear it earlier when he's like, oh, do you hear the bell? This a-hole doesn't stagger anymore. Testimony. Well, while we're here. <clears throat> Wait, what? What? Oh. Look what? Here. Welcome to my quarters. I've never entertained a guest before. Is that what he calls it? His quarters? No, entertaining a, a guest. Going and invading people. Kill me. As if to right your wrongs. <laughs> what is it? 
or perhaps beg my forgiveness. Why would we beg for his forgiveness? What's done is done. <laughs> so why are you model doctor a crazy person? Oh my god, I can't kill him now, I missed. Uh, cause he's got a cool deer antlers on his head. Gotta look like a Wendigo, yo. Wendigo, yo? Wendigo, yo. Wait, Wait, isn't that Simon? No. That is... something with a K? Oh, I never got the key for that. Where do I find that key? You're missing, like, a lot of things. It's just, I usually go through, so, I'm trying not to go through this on autopilot. <laughs> I usually have my routes and whatnot that I take, but I'm changing up a lot so that this is at least fresh and interesting and you don't see someone who's obviously played this hundreds of thousands of times before. Oh my god! Like, I've never gone backwards this way before. It's oh, oh, yeah. terrifying. Remember, there's two. She is... On your ass. Yeah, she is. What if she like crawled or went up to the ladder and just yanked her ankle down? And she's like, "No, come here." Uh, no. You find the key in the uh, in the research hall. Okay. That's where it be. The research hall is the asylum. The crazy asylum, yeah. Or whatever the PC term for that is these days. Sanitarium. No, they're not sanitary. Remember. You're right. My bad. Don't try this at home, kids. Yeah, no, going backwards is making me, like... I can't stress out because it's hurting my whiplash neck. How long does it take to recover from whiplash, by the way? Just be or easy I'm... on it you'll or, be fine. Or am I just a baby? And it's You're a baby. Forever. I mean, okay. I'm trying to be nice about it, but... Or maybe I just did... I fucked it up that much. I've also... I don't think I've ever done this to myself. Maybe yeah, I don't mean to exaggerate, but I think I might be dead. I might be dead. Also, the fact that I gave it to myself sneezing is hard for stomach. <laughs> you sneeze like an old man. What do you mean? You ever like that's how all dads sneeze. They sneeze and it's like uh, their entire body shakes. Like when your dog the shakes. The world shakes, yeah. His entire being, as you put it. I mean, if you look at your tiny wiener dog, that's exactly what it looks like. His entire being shakes. It's he... funny, because you can see it move from his head to his tail. Yep. Just everything through him. Ah, they did not put up a fight that time. He's like, you know what? No. <laughs> now he's down to kill the beast patients. All right. Skull in hand. Which is funny, because we're bringing him his skull. For some reason, that brings him back to life. I mean, he's obviously there, kind of just twitching. I wouldn't say he's dead. I just thought it was like majestic wind. I mean, obviously not. But... He was just sleeping. I believe Lawrence was the first. Hunter with Gehrman to start going and doing the hunt? Um, I wasn't Lawrence the one who... With the, the old man in the rocking chair. No, that's Wilhelm and... Uh, I always get him confused, too. Okay. Because there's Lawrence, the first Viker. Or the first cleric, whatever he is. And then there is... Uh... <laughs> now you're getting... Nah, it's gonna annoy me. Sorry. It's the uh, Ludwig, I believe. Now I gotta go look it up, Dakota. Thanks. <laughs> You're the Lorsbird. You always say that, and it's but never true. But for this game, for between you and me, you are the Lorsbird. That's every game. This is true. No, no, no. I got you on a couple of them that you don't care about. Yeah, no one cares about <laughs> Halo. No one cares about Halo lore. I didn't even, I wasn't even, wasn't even going there. And even then, I don't know a lot of Halo War. Halo War? Ha. Halo Lore. Because um, I've only read two books out of all, like, the Halos. And I got really 
I was talking over your fight. I'm sorry, you died. Now, when it comes to Halo, only the the very first book, which is uh, Fall of Reach, is it was super amazing, and I'm disappointed that the game Reach, Halo Reach, was not based on it. And that's my only take on that, because it was such a good book. But I get why they didn't. Eh. Oh, it is Lawrence. Woo! You, you googled right. it. I'm smart. I didn't think it was Lawrence. I thought it was uh, the other one, but I guess it is Lawrence. Yeah, he was the one that went and founded the church, Lawrence, because uh, Wilhelm said it was through through knowledge and whatnot is how you were going to obtain your eyes. And he's like, no, no, no. Going and... I'm going to go slaughter them and pluck them out of everyone's face. Yeah. The old blood. He's like, no, the old blood is what, you know, an experimentation. That's how we're going to advance as a species. So Wilhelm, while he was there doing his thing, um, Lawrence went and did his thing, and it all turned to shit. I want to know how they captured Abritus. <laughs> Obviously, they're holding her captive up there. And since we didn't touch on it in this in this playthrough, we're not going to. She is the uh, she's a captured great one from the choir that just sits up at the top of the owl. Sits up at the top of the clock tower. It's very sad, too. Maybe Good boss they fight. Used, cause they obviously kind of captured Rom as well, it feels like. No, Rom's more like... I forgot about that. What's Rom? Rom already exists in the realm of, like, us, I guess. He's just over there, or she's just there watching over and making sure that the veil between big scary monsters and people people, like, we don't, that way we don't perceive them. Right. Is how I took it to be. It just looks like, uh, in Abritus' arena, it looked like there was, like, a Rom statue, so that's what I was thinking, maybe Rom had something to do with it. I mean, I'm, they may be aware of who she is. Because for stuff we don't know anything, anything about... Ah! I'm just watching you nearly die a lot. Trying to be a cool cucumber here. But, no, I'm just... I, I, I kind of agree. I don't know how they would have captured her. Especially in that very specific area. Because I don't think this game goes into things that the old ones like. There's not, like, any type of specific lure. They use their Master Ball. You know. Just, just die. This entire thing ends. Ah! Oh, that shit. The fire makes it so hard. Because it's just a... All it is is just Cleric Beast on fire. Right. And more help. Yeah, a lot more health. I think somebody did the math, said he's, like, maybe the second or third most health in any Souls game. Oh, really? For any boss, yeah. That he's just got stupid amounts of HP. And it's that, normally you can go in and punish that, but because of the fire, if you go in too early... He's so screechy. Oh, Jesus. I never, I was just about to say that because it was quiet. <laughs> that, and there's normally music over it. I mean, I hear the music. It's very low, but I hear it. Oh, my God. Is this what the Troy fight in Borderlands 3 <laughs> was going to be like? They didn't patch it. That shit was funny. 
I don't care who you are. So in Borderlands 3 came out, there is a fight that you, you have where I guess, like, he lost his legs! Um, where... Now he's just shitting bomb, <laughs> shitting lava. Um, where I guess the, the boss would just start screaming for the entire rest of the fight. And they, we, we played on the first week, but apparently they fixed it, like, what? Like, immediately? Yeah. I can't even move. But I'm like, I can't even imagine. I mean, I guess you could um, just play from launch time. And oh, we should. First day. I mean, we should do that. Just install the game offline. Oh, just to try and get there? To unpatch it so we can. <laughs> so we can deal with that. Your weapon is that. You have never fixed your weapon? Well, this sucks. Oh dear. Now I'm gonna be doing about half damage. Well, it's, your weapon's at risk, it didn't break. At risk is half damage. Do the weapons actually break in this game? They break, you just can repair them. But yeah, I'm doing nothing now. Which sucks. hosed over pretty bad there. I don't even know what that was. I felt like I was out of the way of him and then he just decided he was gonna shit on me. Yeah, I would have beat him if the weapon wasn't, if I would have smart about it. I haven't re re ever repaired it. Uh, I don't think it. you repaired it since you got it. Because <laughs> I would have been doing a lot more damage than that. That sucks. I don't even know. I don't, oh, okay, I do. I was like, I don't think I have a way to repair it. That's funny. Besides, you have the cost bears that you can sell, you know, for cash. That's true. Oh, he would have died. That sucks. Yeah, because I was only dealing about 400 per swipe. Even on that charge attack, it was there was nothing. Yeah, because you were doing about 300 per regular swipe. Don't it's fixed. Yeah. Repair your weapons, kids. Do you need to repair your gun? Is that a thing? No. Okay. It's just, just, you know, your sword that you're using. You were so close, too. <laughs> Messing with your cat. I am. She looks too peaceful. I had to fix it. <laughs> It didn't shoot me in the back this time. I think I tried to shoot you in the front. I mean, that's... True friends don't stab you in the gut, right? They stab you right in front of you. Like I that. Would... <laughs> yeah, that guy... That guy should have seen it coming. That's on him. I, that's probably my favorite thing to watch, is you just open it, oh shit, big guy, and then explosion of, like, guts everywhere. <laughs> that's a smart thing. Don't let them know you're coming. Okay. You didn't really take damage for that. That was kind of weird. That you did. Oh, dear. Big... I have to fight him and the camera. This weapon has no overhead and it drives me nuts. What do you mean no overhead? Usually for that I would do an overhead swing. Ah! 
the fire oh, AOE. Oh, the ones that like go over your head? Yeah. Like you, you, you back swing it. So that forward. I can hit him in the head when he comes. Because it's a pound, pound, and then double fist pound. And then you can over swing right into his dome piece. Oh. But because this is a rapier. You're so, it's a very stabby weapon. Yeah, it's a, it's a dueling sword is what it is. It's a rapier. Oh, so you're a double dueler. You can do a sword fight and a gun fight. That's why your duel with that one guy sucked. Oh, that guy straight up missed. There we go. But I can't even, like, even with his head down, I can't... Ow. I can't hit him. Just be more stabby stabby. The only way I can do it is if I shoot his weak spot. Because if I had an overhead, I would have been able to punish there, too. But... Who lost the booty? So at least we're back very quickly to where you were. What was that? <laughs> what? I'm too busy getting fire blasted. He does oh. so much damage. You can stab him in the face, though. Please don't get stuck in that. That would be bad. You're almost there. You can do it if you just you know, I feel stop like I'm, catching on fire. I magnetize to his head when he does that, and it's annoying. Then his little fucking snail trail behind him. Hey, right in this front of you? This is the only boss of the snail trail, right? I think so. Also, that's gross. I mean, you said it! This is almost comical of how stupid this looks. I don't like this weapon. <laughs> but you've done the entire game with it, and I'm proud of you. Beast rune that allows you to turn into a beastie. What do you say, partner? Let's end this show. Duh. Uh, I guess so. <sighs> you guess. What else can we do? You just want this to be higher. Oh, your death count? Yeah. Absolutely. I think I did pretty good. I mean, you did better than I would have. That's for sure. Here meets you at the foot of the great tree. Go on, good hunter. German can suck my toes. Very well. Let me... All right. That's how we end. Forty forty. Level eighty-eight. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. All right. Are you gonna go pick a fight with an old man in a wheelchair? I could just accept and just end it here. Is that would that be a bad anticlimactic ending? Yeah, no, you're not allowed don't, to do that. Don't do that? Okay. Good hunter. You've done well. The night is near its end. Now I will show you mercy. You will die, forget the dream, and awake under the morning sun. You will be free. From this terrible hunter's dream. <laughs> I guess. Sorry. I like instead of accept, they're like submit your life. Dear, yeah. Dear. What was it? The hunt? The blood? Or the horrible dream? Oh, 
It doesn't matter. The old man's getting out of his wheelchair. <laughs> I remember the first time I did this, he got out of the chair. I was like, oh, shit. He's on a peg leg. I did something wrong. <laughs> such a badass line. It really is. Hey, you got the peg leg wheelchair man coming after you. You got fucked up. What's that other thing on his back? His gun? Yeah. He has a blunderbuss. Oh, that was a... I don't think I've ever noticed that weird, like, hook move. Yeah, I get caught by it all the time. You dodge through it. And then get hit immediately by the... It's not a blunderbuss. It is a... It's, I don't know what it's supposed to be. I mean, it there's one that like shoots multi-pellets, and then there's one that shoots a single pellet. The single pellet, if it hits you, will always put you in a parryable state. Oh, shit. And then he's gotta go Saiyan. I was gonna say, what's... what's... Is he calling upon, like, the Elder Gods? Is that to boost his, his old man powers? Is that what that is? Just get off my lawn powers. <laughs> I mean, these are really pretty flowers. I mean, I imagine, yes, get off this fucking lawn. And you're, you're trampling on my shit. That one. Oh. Does a shit ton of damage, and he will try and parry you off it. I'm so used to you clowning on, like, the bosses that I don't get to actually see some of the fight. So again, you choosing a weapon you're not used to is ben beneficial to me. Is he like, is he a werewolf? That's an AoE. Getting moon powers. That sucks. High health. Oh, don't get hit by it twice. Thrice. Oh, man. At least on the other side, I'm getting more of the fight because you're using stuff you're not used to. Jeez. Oh, thanks, game. Ow. Oh, there's blood everywhere! That was very similar to Maria's move. Yeah. I think that's by design. Oh, I'm sure it's by design. Oh, <laughs> you idiot! That sucks. Oh, no! <laughs> that was funny. You're like, and fight! Wait, what? 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 I was ready to parry it, which is fine because it would have been shot early, but. But hearing the clicky noises is funny. <laughs> the clicky noises and the fact that you look down <laughs> at it like, oh shit. <laughs> Have you? Like, you haven't gotten the thingies, have you? I guess we're gonna find out if you have. We'll find out. It's the moon noodle! The moon noodle? You. Oh, you did! I think.
Because I've never seen the ending where it, it does that and then... I guess the bad part, because I haven't done that playthrough yet. He just embraces you. Oh! How to counter the one HP move. Oh, shit. Because you don't have any bullets? No, I can't heal now. Why can't you heal? That was that aura that he fired off around there. Oh. Those little, that little bubble, it falls blood. Yeah, I'm gonna die. I'm at one HP already, asshole. Let me heal. Or do you just like forget how to heal? Like, what is it? Yeah. Like, how does that work? I get a debuff up here in the corner, and it's just it makes it so that you can't heal. I don't know. Maybe my arms are too weak to reach. Your brain my... just forgets how to like. What yeah. does this do? What does the heal do? <laughs> What's this bottle? I have 20 of hanging around my belt. It's a game mechanic. You just doesn't get like a really bad like... <laughs> what does this juice do? I don't need it. Oh shit! What? I've only got two healing vials. Ha! <laughs> get good! Guess we're gonna have to, huh? I would like that back, please. No, no, don't get hit by that again. I kind of dig its tail. I was like, kind of just looking at it for the aesthetics of it. It's got like a hand. Yeah. And it's raining blood. <laughs> Best ending ever. Uh, no. I think it's pretty awful, actually. You become the thing you hate. But that's the thing. I become the thing I... I've ascended to the thing I hate. Cool. I don't care about people anymore. Her eyes are so freaky. But at the same time, if you try to make realistic doll eyes, they all look fucking She's weird. A, I mean, yeah, she's a doll. Yeah, you get turned into a squid. But you become a great one. A baby great one. And now I don't I don't care about people. Well, you just become people. a one. I'm just one. Because <laughs> you're not a great one. Because you're not great. You're just little. So you're An just old one. one? A new one. You're a new one. Is that a breed? A new one? <laughs> Hidakata Miyazaki. That is Bloodborne. That is Bloodborne and me ham-fisting Lee to do something different. Sadly. Maybe I thought, because it was either that or I make you do an arcane build. That's just not fair. I wanted you to do something different. Maybe when I go through and actually set up a new character on this. Um... I'll do it arcane, so you can watch me just delete things with you. Delete things with me, but also you're like, I'm trying to parry and I can't! That's the hardest part for me, but if you match elements, things die so quickly. Oh yeah, no, that's how I play. I don't know, but at the same time though, I don't know how to play this game properly. At all. You I... ask me to parry, I'm like, I don't know what that window is. I know what it looks like, I don't know how to do it on purpose. Parry, you mean... Call beyond this thing until it's gone. Yeah, I can do that. It's great. <laughs> so that was Bloodborne. Your thoughts, gameplay, story-wise, mechanics, etc., etc. So, story-wise, um, I already have my opinion of, like, I like it, I don't like it. Um, 
because of the, um, whatchamacallit. I don't like the storytelling, but I know, I, but it's also a very unique way of storytelling. Right, right. And that's kind of how all the Souls games do it. It's through all item descriptions and vague, vagueness, you know. It's not up in your face, and I know, I get why a lot of people don't like that. Some people just want to play a game for the story, and when, when you're not... I want to experience a story, not have to read. Yeah. If I wanted to read, I'd get a book. See, but for me, this is kind of like... this is It's as... like puzzle pieces, like detective. Right, solving. right. You're not in that world, you know. Yeah. You're, you're like that character. You're new to that place, and you're kind of finding everything out as your character finds out. And that's kind of why, like, when I play uh, any games that feel like are Fallouts that have decision-making on them, I always play the character, and I always say play the character. Yeah. I always play as if my character, if I was that person, you know, this guy's coming up, I'm in a wasteland, and the guy's like, oh, I need you to go do this. I'm like, F you, dude, I ain't doing this for you. I don't even know you, you know? So I don't. I try not to do it so much as... Um, like, oh, this might give me a good reward from a gameplay perspective. But first playthrough, I always try to uh, play it as if I was that person. So Simon the Herald, Raidor the Church Assassin. Interesting. They all have names. They yeah. have, like, titles. I uh, do think it's funny. It has so many voices, but I think it's for all the different languages. No, yeah, because I'm seeing some French stuff in there, too. Some Hispanic, yeah. Um, I do like this version of credits instead of having, okay, here's all the English credits, yeah. here's all the Spanish credits. This I'm just ends like, no! much quicker. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, that being said, you know, lore wise, it's deep with lore and that. You just, it's, it, you gotta find it, and the story is kind of in the background. The atmosphere this game oh, builds. Oh, yeah. No, that's awesome. I second like that. to none, yeah. And I'm always love, uh, um, worlds like that that are just built like from the ground up in their own little universes um, always get lost in stuff it's kind of why I like uh, isekai so much when we watch anime I think it's because it's it's literally a whole new world from ours oh yeah I guess I can see built that. from something else so and then I also wanted to bring up that um, this is probably the best way to do a Lovecraft inspired anything oh I agree because Lovecraft loses its... I mean, you guys saw anyone who watched our Call of the Cthulhu playthrough. Uh, it loses its luster when you know it's a Cthulhu game. Because you're waiting for all this shit to happen. Right. For this one, you're going thinking you're going... You know, there's some weird beast plague and you're about to get... Killed yeah. Werewolf. Werewolves is how you start out. And all of a sudden, towards the end, you're killing tentacle monsters. And you're like, what? <laughs> the transformation is so gradual from wolves, werewolf, and... You know, Victorian, or I, don't, I always say Victorian. It's more like uh, that London esque. Oh yeah, it's 1800s. a mix between London, um, the modernized London, uh, not even modernized. I Eighteen, have, I'd say like eighteen, seventeen hundreds. Yeah, Jack the Ripper era. <laughs> yeah, eighteen, nineteen, early nineteen hundreds London. But then you go from that to yeah, like Yargul and all the shit going on. Like even just looking at the name Yargul, it's like. It, Wait it's a minute. Twisted and messed up, you know. So, so yeah. This is if you were to do, and that's the thing though is like a lot of people when they try and do something Lovecraftian, they want to be like it's Lovecraftian, but that's like cool, as you said. It's like cool. So where is it? You ru it ruins the twist. When we played Call of Cthulhu, it's like okay, we know something going on in this village. I always thought Call of Cthulhu would have been better had it just been a detective game that turned into Two. Lovecraft. Yeah. But then it probably wouldn't have sold. And that's the thing, is that's its selling point. Yeah, so that's why it's so hard to do it, and I think Bloodborne did it so well. I honestly think that's why there's no Bloodborne 2 yet, is that they did it so well, they're like, well, we don't want to mess this up. <laughs> but for surezies, if, if when, PC, that's going to be a thing with us. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, that's why I'm kind of kicking myself getting uh, Dark Souls for you on PlayStation, because I'm like seeing how it looks on PC, especially Dark Souls 3. I'm like, man, it looks so pretty. But playing on... Oh, that would probably explain the aesthetic. Hey, it's in Liverpool, Cambridge, London. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, just, that's probably a lot of it right there. Wherever Runecorn is. Ah, that one's the only one I don't know where it's at. Um, but with 
God damn it, I lost my train of thought. Um, no, but with everything going on with my PC, I would rather play it on something consistent. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's a PC thing. I think that was more of a Borderlands thing. Anyway, we're getting completely off sidetrack here. Yeah. Um, I enjoyed the game. Obviously, I said it at the beginning. It's my favorite game I've ever played. Yeah, we're going into New Game Plus. Wake up on a table. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now you're Kanehurst. Uh, now I should make sense. I got isekai'd from the uh, the night period. No, this is like my favorite game. I enjoy the, you know, and it, it almost ruins these kind of action games for me because I play this, play Dark Souls, then you go play something like, you know, uh, Devil May Cry, God of War, and it just feels too easy. And, and that's... And that goes back to I know a couple episodes where I was bitching about Kingdom Hearts. I like playing it on the higher difficulty for that challenge. Yeah. But when it, when it's like push button to win, it's like, Meh. and that's kind of yeah. where this like this type of stuff is nice. It makes you actually have to work for it. Yeah, and there's no, and it's not even like it's. I'm not gonna say it's not difficult. I'm not gonna be that guy that sits here and it's, it's like, easy. oh, it's not, it's easy. But it really that like that learning when, curve is definitely there. When you hit get the learning curve down though, and when you know, I mean, like God, I hadn't touched this game for a couple of weeks, and getting back into it, obviously the rush showed, but it's not like, you know, you just got to be smart. It's it's cerebral action adventure, which kind of goes against action adventure games, where it's like I want to want to go on an adventure, and I want to be able to just be in a fantasy, and right. this is more like you need to plan out your moves. Not having stamina is a bitch. <laughs> so, I, I prefer the stamina bar and having so many like dedicated moves before you have to rest. Um, in instead of something like God of War where I can just spam. Oh know, yeah, it, spam square. Where they one. actually have a thing where I think there's achievements for having like a ridiculously high combo. Yeah, I'm comboing, and you know I'm not saying there's anything wrong with those games. Oh no, the power I like fantasy. Playing. Yeah, but... I like playing those. Where you just you want to destroy things, <laughs> but it makes this these games have made those games a lot less fun for me. <laughs> for you personally, yeah, yeah, because like with God of War, it's I think it's like God of War one. It was like square, square, triangle, or square, square, circle, where you just do the swipe, swipe, and then the overhead yep, slam, I and think, that yep. that deletes everything in the game, you know. But like I said, different different strokes, different folks. Um, but yeah, that was Bloodborne. So, anything else you want to add? Uh, not about our review, but I do want to mention that we, I have a third playthrough that I have to do to get my platinum, so I, this will be streamed on, from my perspective and my arcane character sometime in the future. No idea when, but it's gotta happen. It'll so. happen, and it'll be over on twitch.tv deco slash Dakota underscore K. Uh, the link will probably be down in the description. Speaking of description, there's also our Discord that you should talk Join. You can talk to us, annoy us, request stuff. I mean, I whatever you want to do. There's not really any annoying us. No, we we're lonely. <laughs> it's literally a Discord of just us two. Um, no, I just, think I just think we sitting there just stroking each other's egos. Uh, no, no. Oh, that's the admin chat. I'm sorry, they don't know about that. And then we have our artist there as a witness. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, Discord link's down in the description. Come join it. Come talk to us. Hang out. Uh, if you're still here, we really appreciate it. You know, like, subscribe. If you want to see more stuff like this. Uh, next on the agenda, I think, is going to be a couple Telltale games. So hopefully those will be coming out after this. Unless something horrible happens. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. If Dakota <laughs> doesn't die from work exertion. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I will see you all later. Bye!